Spherical mirrors. The reflecting surface of a spherical mirror may be curved inwards or outwards. A spherical mirror is that mirror whose reflecting surface is a part of a hollow sphere of glass. One side of the mirror is well polished and reflecting, and the other side of the mirror is opaque. Spherical mirrors are two types. One, concave mirrors. Two, convex mirrors. Concave mirror, a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards, that is, faces towards the center of the sphere, is called a concave mirror. Convex mirror, a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outwards, is called a convex mirror. You may now understand that the surface of the spoon curved inwards can be approximated to a concave mirror and the surface of the spoon bulged outwards can be approximated to a convex mirror. Before we move further on spherical mirrors, we need to understand the meaning of a few terms which are commonly used in discussions about spherical mirrors. Pole. The center of the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror is a point called the pole. It lies on the surface of the mirror. The pole is usually represented by the letter P. The center of curvature of the spherical mirror. The reflecting surface of a spherical mirror forms a part of a sphere. This sphere has a center. This point is called the center of curvature of the spherical mirror. The radius of curvature of the mirror. The radius of the sphere of which the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror forms the part is called the radius of curvature of the mirror. It is represented by the letter R. Here the distance PC is equal to the radius of curvature. The principal axis. Imagine a straight line passing through the pole and the center of curvature of a spherical mirror. This line is called the principal of axis. Observe this video. The principal focus of the concave mirror. A number of rays parallel to the principal axis are falling on a concave mirror. Observe the reflected rays. They are all intersecting at a point on the principal axis of the mirror. This point is called the principal focus of the concave mirror. The principal focus of the convex mirror. The reflected rays appear to come from a point on the principal axis. This point is called the principal focus of the convex mirror. The, the focal length. The distance between the pole and the principal focus of a spherical mirror is called the focal length. It is represented by the letter F. The aperture. The reflecting surface of a spherical mirror is by and large spherical. The surface then has a circular outline. The diameter of the reflecting surface of spherical mirror is called its aperture. In diagram, Mn represents the aperture. The relation between radius of curvature and focal length. The radius of curvature is found to be equal to twice the focal length. We put this as R equals to 2F. This implies that the principal focus of a spherical mirror lies between the pole and center of curvature.